This is your evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts us off with weather. Dean, after the storm, now we've got a lot of snowpack across a good portion of the state here, so that's going to help lead to, well, a cold night tonight. Tomorrow will be another cool day with northwest flow across the area. Temperatures in the 40s, probably going to stay in the 40s into Wednesday as well, but temperatures will start to warm. High 40s, really. And as we get into Thanksgiving Day, temperatures in the low 50s, mostly sunny skies, and a very good start to a nice holiday weekend. All right, Mark, thank you. A semi truck driver was a danger on the road during yesterday's snowstorm, and our cameras were rolling as he almost hit an officer. Oh, oh, oh. Kara QE News 13 was in the East Mountains and captured this video as that semi nearly struck a motor transportation department officer who was helping a driver who, as you see there, got stuck in the snow. And as you can see, the driver and the officer managed to get out of the way just in time just as that semi barrels through. Now we learned that a short time later that same semi did hit another car and took off. Now police are looking for the driver and we're told our video will be used to try to track him down. They hope to get the truck's DOT number to find him. A district judge has sided with Hannah Scandera over the unpopular teacher evaluations. Scandera changed how teachers are evaluated by basing 50% of the evaluation on student test scores. Upset teachers, parents, even a few local lawmakers tried to block that new evaluation system with a lawsuit. They argue the evaluations are unfair and claim that Scandera did not have the power to put those evaluations in place. But an Albuquerque district judge shot down that lawsuit. We'll probably go back to the legislature and say, can we try again? Even though chances are the governor with the single agenda on this one way to do teacher evaluation She'll probably veto it again. It's time to focus our energies on real change for kids and actually put their interests first above adult interests that don't actually serve the best interests of our, our children. Despite the criticism, Scandera says the evaluation system will produce results. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.